Hello, everybody. Welcome to um, the podcast that's called The Bald and the Beautiful. My name is Melissa. Kevin. And I'm Angel. And my husband, Marcus, will be here soon. Very good. And um, we are going to thank our sponsors. Oh, we have some amazing sponsors today. Lumi Whole Body Deodorant. Can't wait to tell you about those. I can't wait to smell you about those. As well as Rocket Money, because we want to rocket your money to outer space. Okay. Just stick it easy. <laughs> That's only going up. <laughs> only going up. All right, so we're going to start with a segment called Last Week Today, where you talk about anything noteworthy that you did. Kev, we're coming to you first. Yes. Kev. Noteworthy? Yeah, Last Week Today. WrestleMania was the, the week prior. Girl, I literally just looked at my calendar the exact same thing. You said, what did we do? I did absolutely nothing on Sunday. Congratulations. I did nothing. Uh, I, I did take a walk. I did do that. Mm -hmm. And I ordered chili at, as soon as the barbecue place opened. And I almost had a whole pan of cornbread by myself. You did. And I wasn't hungry for a long time. I didn't do much. Then me and Melissa went and got a... Uh, uh, right on time. Come on in, Tankley. Tankley. Yeah, it didn't go in. Try again, boo-boo. We, we went to uh, a couple spa. Uh, a, oh, a we place, did do that. Mm -hmm. Couple spa place. Man, it was so good. Oh, y'all been to a couple spa? Was that mm. nice? It was nice. nice. They must, the, it was funny because the, the masseuse, it was two men. Tell me about them. And I'm going to tell you what was the funniest thing. I, I've been got a lot of massages by men and women. This is the first time I've ever had a massage. And the man was breathing like he was. I don't think it's Lamaze, but that's the only control breathing Ooh, I know. Uh -huh. But he's giving me the massage and you can. I mean, he's breathing like this loud. My guy was breathing hard, too. Oh, I can't do that. The whole massage. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you breathing like this in my ear? He's like, so yeah. then I woke up when he told me to turn over. And um, Ooh, that was a good crack. It was yeah, a good I know. Crack. No, no. I'm jealous. And they had, uh, me and Melissa oh, had a champagne a ba a jacuzzi room. Ooh. And a copper tub. And I'm telling you, I don't get in the tub that much because the I don't fit They're not good, big enough. So they're very uncomfortable. This tub was, Marcus could have sat in there and laid on the ground. That's what I want. Marcus, mm. it was I so. Like, I don't like baths and tubs. Because your legs are sticking yeah, out. My knees, I want my knees warm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. And then Melissa made a pot pie. Oh, it was a TikTok meal. It oh. wasn't a pot pie. Don't ever pronounce TikTok that It was a TikTok. He got to say that, the T. Yeah. We, when you pronounce TikTok, TikTok that strongly, you is 40 up. Yeah. yeah. Yo, I've seen it on the TikTok. All you got to do is I, add I'm, the. I'm deep in the Norris Smith algorithm of TikTok. She made this pot pie thing, and my children. That sound old, too. What? This pot, pot pie, pie thing. thing. That's what I'm saying. She <laughs> made this pot pie down yonder. And, because uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't crust. At the, it wasn't pie crust. It was... Uh, uh, not red robin, cheddar red bait. lobsters, cheddar Ooh, bay biscuits. Come on, on Melissa. The top. It was very Why are you good. acting up? It was very good. It was so good. I was a little nervous because I messed up. Now, a little the bit. funny thing about it, she made this delicious pot pie with red lobster, cheddar bay biscuits as the crust, and we watched the physical 100. These people who are pristine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's real good. Uh, physical 100? Yeah. Oh, yes. He's very physique, very oh, nice. We man. just finished talking the about the thing. voiceover <laughs> actors. I'd be like, did y'all even hear these people? They said no. Uh, so it felt so good to do absolutely nothing. We did something else, listen. Who are we talking about? This mm -hmm. time last week. Oh, we did a photo shoot. Yeah, but you can't say everything because I still got to go. Gotta okay, you can it. talk. I, uh, but I was just trying to remember what we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I know Sunday we did was a good one. Something of measure. I could take Saturday. You All right, me. so Sunday was great. We went I to sleep. We, did that. I gotta look at we was watching I still Down with Love. Love. No, Down for Love. Down for Love. Down for Love. Have you watched it, Down Joshua? Because I know Amara loves Love on the Spectrum. No, I've heard it, this is people with Down syndrome finding oh my, love. They are terrible for calling it. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> for some oh, reason, Love dirty. on the Spectrum works. It, love it's on the cute. Spectrum was it's clever. Yeah. I get it. Melanie got us Down watching. For well, love. Was that Down you? Who love. got us watching all them shows? Down. Me. Mel yeah. got us watching Love on the Spectrum. It's freaking fantastic. And there was great. the other with the deaf people. That's Mel too. Deaf you. Man, I can't. But Down for Love is about people from Auckland, New Zealand who have Down syndrome. 
uh, finding love. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. How the, are they the allowed name to do that? It doesn't work the same. I literally said the same thing. It doesn't work. That's a fit now, Netflix. Why y'all did this? But it was good programming. Because they had Michael on it. Did Michael get his own show? Love on the Spectrum? No, Love on the Spectrum, no. You he remember needs Michael? One. Yes. He does. He's the great. fact that I remember him. Because he's fantastic. But they was having a good time on that show. <laughs> on what? Uh, Down, for love? Down for Love? So how was the photo shoot, Melissa? We did the photo shoot on um on the day before Sunday, which is called Saturday. Mm-hmm. And um it was great. You know, this is the 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 truth of the matter. Mm-hmm. Taking photos is a horrible experience for me. Why? It's so, I say this all the time, it's such a vulnerable experience. It feels just, I just feel very exposed and very like naked, like taking it just, photos. It's just awkward for me. It's so awkward. Yeah. It's just not my personal favorite thing to do. Um, I've done, I, actually I want to hire one local, but I've done like a, a posing class with someone before. Like it's so serious for me because it's so just uncomfortable for me. Mm. Um, but I've learned like a few tips to get me like through. But every time there's so much anxiety taking photos. But we did that. It was fine. It was cool. Drea. Big Dree. Not Drea. Um, flew in. She's always phenomenal anyway. And I was like, do everything you got to do. Okay. Uh, Reem, the photographer that we use for like the wedding stuff, he posted on threads, do you guys prefer natural or like Photoshop pictures? And it was so interesting to see people say natural because I'm like, Photoshop me. Mm. I don't want to see a Make pour. me thin. I don't, I don't care about, like, body photoshopping, but, like, I don't want to see full pores. Mm-hmm. If, if I mess up my makeup, blend it out. <laughs> <laughs> you said, make that thing right. I want my eggs cracked. Correct. My last name dropped. Okay? Like, give me the things. Like, give me, like, if if I'm paying you to just put up raw photos, child, I could have dealt with my iPhone. I'm paying you to do something I can't do. Edit that photo. Yes. Uh, I, uh, being as someone that has had to take photos all of my freaking career, I definitely like a nice Photoshop. I, I don't, I don't want what, like you said, I can take what I feel like with my iPhone. Photoshop me, baby. I concur. <laughs> That's what I'm paying me, for. I make me look like AI. Hey, I don't care what you do. Whatever the skill set you have in the Photoshop, oh. do that because I can't do it. I tried to do that for our uh, save the oh. date in me and Marcus. <laughs> Man, we, we look, look like, like vampires out of a, to do what? We look like vampires out of a low, extremely low budget movie. To a vampire? End, it was the huh? end of Michael Jackson's thriller. Our eyes were glowing. Yeah. I made the whites. The of whites eyes was glowing. Way too white. The teeth was way too white. But yes, correct. I skin. You could swim in it. It was just so just like just hazy. I was like, yeah. Thing is, we didn't recognize it until like a year later. later. I was like, woo! <laughs> it's like, we what gave these at the people. <laughs> you, do, you do have to step back from Photoshop because in the moment, once you get caught up in the Photoshop, everything looks amazing. Yeah. But when you come back, you're like, what is this? And I wasn't a good Photoshopper to begin with, but we did everything on a budget. I made our our wedding invitations. Like I went to an actual stationary place, got really nice paper. Everything I did on my own. So I was we. like... I was sitting there beside you putting them things together after work. You did. Sad. You did take them together. <laughs> I was sitting there. He, you, you know Marcus right. was sitting there. Yeah, I was get, off work. I Give was me the thinking. scissors. Get these ribbons out. <laughs> yes, tie the little ribbon. Y'all did that thing where you... You oh, make it look. Yeah, we had the wax seal with the T on you it. Do oh, the thing. I like that. Those like are the king's ring. Yeah. Yeah, I had the like the vellum ah. paper over the top that had like our name, and then when you lift it, you saw the actual stuff mm. for the invitation. Because I yeah. went every time I saw the it? prices, I said, "No, oh, that's oh, no. this may be expensive." Oh, you want to it's expensive? I said, today. "Oh, we can do this for fifteen dollars." The, <laughs> the lady that is doing our, we fought tooth and nail. God bless her soul. Uh, she ain't dead, but I just mean like God bless her <laughs> for the work that she continues to do because she wanted me to do paper invitations so bad. Oh my god! Mm. She was like, I said. And not in 2024. I'm not. I got a lot of people and a lot of things I got to pay for. See, I'm not doing that. Paper's not one. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Papyrus. I don't care. There's no world in which you're going to tell me how pretty it is, especially after we just did gin and juice and Mel was like, she look at stuff and then throw it away. Girl, no. Listen, I am a tosser. 
And I keep stuff, I but like, absolutely not. No, nah, wedding not. stuff. Well, anything that look like an invitation I usually put up, I'm like, we're going to forget that. So I let me put this where we can see it. keep programs and wedding invitations. Black people Forever, keep Forever, or do programs. you keep it until after the... I do keep... Uh, actually, I keep everything anyway. But do you keep wedding programs after the wedding? I used to wedding? keep them for forever. I've okay. just now gotten to the stage of know. throwing stuff away. You keep like, it if people got divorced? Yep. I got something I want to talk to y'all about real quick. If you ask me, nothing stinks more than finding food in a bag that you forgot about in the back of your car. Well, uh, well except maybe <sighs> body odor, right? That's why I'm so excited to tell you about Lumi whole body deodorant. Unlike certain other deos, Lumi is powered by mandelic acid to control odor in a new way. Lumi deodorant delivers outrageous 72-hour odor control everywhere from your pits to your feet. And yes, even your privates. In fact, it's a patient's concern about private body odor that originally inspired the OBGYN who in invented Lumi. Fast forward six years and her game-changing whole body deodorant has now earned over 300 thousand five-star reviews for people like me who love feeling confident from head to toe special offer new listeners get 15 percent off all lumi products with our exclusive code and link use code bald and beautiful you want to spell all that out okay take your time at lumideodorant.com and lumi deodorant is spelled l-u-m-e-d-e-o-d-o-r-a-n-t Dot com. I absolutely love it because, baby, I sweat in more places than just my armpits. I sweat between these thick thighs, these heavy breasts, okay? I want to be clean and smell good everywhere. So Lumi gets me there. It's a whole body deodorant, okay? So you can put it pits, under boobs, thigh folds, belly, belly buttons, butt cracks, vulvas, and feet. Again, like I said, it was created by OBGYN. It blocks odor all day and controls odor for up to 72 hours. It's like a pre Odorant. It's baking soda free, paraben free, pH balanced for safe use below the belt. They have some amazing scents like clean tangerine, lavender sage, or toasted almond. One more time, I'm going to let you know the Lumi Starter Pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream, tube deodorant, and two free products of your choice like a mini body wash or deodorant wipes and free shipping. Special offer for our listeners. New customers get 15% off all Lumi products with our exclusive code. And if you combine the 50% of off with your already discounted starter pack that equates to over 40% off the starter pack. Use code bald and beautiful B E excuse me B A L D A N D B E A U T Y no T I F U L. Y'all get it. Y'all know how to spell bald and beautiful. For 15% off your first purchase at lumideodorant.com that's code bald and beautiful at lumideodorant.com. <laughs> Oh, I'm king, throw, I'm king, throw away. I throw yeah, away everything. Throw away oh, I'll toss that stuff Man, in the yeah, trash. let the dog lay there too long. His trash. His mama still brings let the what? it. The let the dog. Let, let, it. let it lay there too long. Put oh, it in the not trash. not putting my dog in the trash. <laughs> okay, but that is what you mama, said. <laughs> yeah. Mom, uh, his mama brings us Every the time funeral program. She comes oh. to visit. I don't be There's a like, funeral. I'm like, don't bring these. Because that's the one thing I feel awkward throwing away. I don't like doing that. I don't mind the programs, but when there's like a memento, I don't want people to give me those. From. Your mom brings pros up, like yeah. a yeah, here's, yeah, here's his, and you know they that's three weeks apart. So here these are. Yes, uh, I don't want these. My <laughs> daughter from table has about two or three. God dang, and they, they all die within like two, three weeks of each got other. I have a drawer of these. You can put them in there. And Look, it feels terrible to throw away. My niece, no, it does. we had she we had masks because it was still kind of co it wasn't COVID COVID but kind of COVID ish when she died. We have shirts with her name on it. We have the wristbands. You're and not throwing I, that away. I'm like, I can't throw this away, but no. I'm not going to wear them. <laughs> no. I don't. I'm and not. that's one thing. Like, my mom is the youngest of 10. Nine or 10. 10. Dang. She's the youngest. And everybody's dying. So everybody done, done. Almost everybody's gone. Even if it ain't, there's cousins that done left away from here. All these left people. Left away from here. Left yes. away from here. <laughs> Yeah. That's one reason why I don't like random ass bouquets of flowers. To me, mm -hmm. it reminds me of a funeral. Oh, Angel yeah. loves it. I do. And Angel has a black thumb, not a green thumb, black thumb. At least meaning you know it's going to die. Did bit. you notice I pulled the weeds out of the lawn this morning? What? Mm -hmm. Come Kevin, on, you pull yeah. weeds? I was pulling weeds. I, Look at you. I, I said, with I got, your pickup I got, truck. I got milk in. <laughs> you know, they have some milk in the he weeds. Yeah. Cowboy hat today, too. So, you Kevin. I know. seen that hat. You didn't notice? No. Nah, they ain't. No. Come on. <laughs> Angel, hold on. Angel, when's the last time you've been in the backyard? 
I was in the backyard. <laughs> hey, no, that's no idea what's going on back there. It's like I was in the back. <laughs> Her last Don't party. worry about it. We got a whole. It's everything's back there. It's you didn't notice, Kevin. It was raining. Welcome. It's man stuff, man. Man stuff. Yeah, oh, they don't, they don't recognize it. My yeah. crack was out. No, yeah, I was, was wiping sweat. Yeah. But you I had your tank top on. Because I literally said I need to hire someone to come and I do know. this. And, yeah, and I went and did it. I need to go and get me some, <laughs> some my, weed, my liners some, or some yeah, weed be gone. Yeah. Because you know them weeds coming They're back. They're going to come back. You got to stay on top of them. Got to be on top of all this rain, all that moisture. The whole point of getting turf. Kill it from underneath there. Yeah. I didn't have real grass, but I got real weed. Hey, that's what happened, man. You got to put that on there. Which is actually the ghetto. I said, we don't have this grass. When Monty doodled on there, it stay on there. Yeah, stay. I had to talk to our neighbor last week. A week before that. Like, hey, stop don't letting your dog pee in my yard. Because it will stay. Yeah, I'm like, I said, this ain't grass. This is going to stay here. Yeah, I got kids man. that come out Monty, here. Monty, go around the side of the house and do everything back there. It could turn <laughs> white back there. But right outside and white. The- <laughs> <laughs> you remember that on Step Brother? Yeah, he, crusty. Made him, he made him lick the dog yeah. out and turn white. Yeah, but yeah, I I, I pulled them weeds. Out. I got a couple cuts and blood. Mm-hmm. Oh, good for you. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. I, yeah. I used to do that. Calloused. I'm, I'm callous. Yeah. I don't want you to be callous. Listen, though, I was rubbing Melissa's back the other day. She said, "Can you can you use the tips of your?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. They that. be so rough. They rough because I be lifting. Be having I be lifting. rough hands. If <laughs> you rub her back, it's so like, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know. even like when I like put on lotion. She says it sounds too rough. Listen to that. Well, it's, it's, I'm like, now that, that man knows way about the car. That's, 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 that's man hands. And then he puts a, the, the one, thinnest layer of lotion. No, nah, like, Angel put on lotion and just rub it on her skin. I rub it in. Angel rub on lotion. It's just white all no, over her skin. Rub it in. You got to rub it in. Does not wear lotion. Shut 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 shut. Shut shut up, boy. Anyway, I don't like flowers. That's These random that's ass that to say. bouquets of flowers. It looks depressing all up in the house when Angel <laughs> collects all. There are happy flowers, though. I know. The I ain't seen no. The flowers that happy I get are flowers? happy flowers. No, nah, they ain't. The Angel. yellow, pink, purple. Angel There's takes like colorful table flowers. settings. I do. If I Centerpieces. Everywhere she goes, pretty. she's that hood rat walking out with a table Colors. setting. What are you doing with a table I, setting? But you, for it to die all, next florals? week. Yeah, at events are so expensive. They're expensive, so I'm going to let them That's live in my house for half week. the bill for the thing is doggone yeah, yeah. florals. I can't be like, I ain't just walk out the house. Oh, our little trash dumpster bitch be full of just random ass flowers. Listen, they I said we. Do, I know we don't. I'm sorry. It's just a. No. It's just a talking point. That's what? all. The questions are just for a talking point. Last thing I was going to say is, and then we went to dinner or lunch. For uh, Monique Neville's, it was her birthday, and we took them out to oh, dinner. Oh, they play a fun. fun game. I knew you were going to talk about it. That's why I brought it up. Thanks, baby. Who's Monique Neville's? Richie, Richie Loco. Yeah. Monique. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we saw in the pop. Okay. So we was at Joey. I can't say it. Joey's. We was at Joey's. Uh-huh. Yeah. It just it feels pronounce way worse that than pronouncing right. And uh, they play this game where when music is playing, that you got to guess the year the song came out. Yeah. Oh, Lord. So we was, oh, yeah. me and Melissa, Maroon 5, but when I tell you Maroon 5, you talk about getting it wrong. I said 2014. That song came out 2008. We <laughs> were that? all over the place. It's it such was a fun such game, a though. fun little game. Yeah. Nah, anyway, uh, we went to lunch with them. It was raining stupid was in Los so Angeles. Hard. Cats and dogs. Um, and we had a good lunch. Yeah, it was great. It was so good. I was like, I really like food. I like eating and thinking about it. Actually, that food wasn't good. I'm not lying. Angel, what'd you do? I went, me and Marcus decided last minute to go to a kind of fundraiser at the school on a Thursday. Well, fundraiser for the school on a Thursday day. This is how you know it's a bougie school because they're having events during the day. Well, y'all ain't at work. Y'all, and y'all, if y'all are, you can get out. All their events are during the day. It, a lot of them are. We were at a winery called Cielo Winery. Called what now? Cielo. Where's it at? Malibu. Oh, I think I went there with Danny. Yes. Yeah, so uh, little Marcus is good friends with the own the owner. Little Marcus is good friends with one of the the son of the owners mm-hmm. of the winery. Yes. Well, everybody at that school owns something. Wineries are like, very expensive businesses to maintain. Oh, yeah. that's just one of many businesses that they have. Yes. One of many? One yes. of many. And so, I think that's just a hobby. But the winery? The anyway, hobby? yes. So um, I was lit on a Thursday with the, the parents of the school. And, <laughs> and what was great was afterwards, 
Uh, Marcus ended up leaving, but what was afterwards, one of the moms, she had been, we, me and her hadn't connected in a while. And I was like, I didn't know if we were beefing or what. She was like, no, life is hard. I just kind of, you know, go in a, in a hole. And I was like, girl, I'm, I'm a down ass bitch. Like you, you could have came to me. We could have talked. We, we didn't have no issue. She was just going through a lot. Well, then she was just getting bottles and bottles of rosé and it was so cold and crisp and I had so much wine and it was so great. <laughs> It was so, it was just us, the, some other moms. And I was just like, but girl, what you need is just a little bit of dick. And that will change your <laughs> At the perspective. kids' fundraiser? Well, the, the, now the school is gone. It's just us now getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I end up. Funds have been raised already. <laughs> now we're just having a mm. time. Yeah, I bought some stuff. Yes, Marcus bought some stuff from the one black vendor that was there. That's how I ended up dancing with two TikTok dancers because they showed up after the I event. I saw that, and I said, y'all just be doing stuff. I said, hey, hey. And by this time, I've had my fourth glass of rosé. <laughs> I know y'all, and I love your content. Y'all be dancing really well. I want to dance with y'all. They were like, I okay. I want to dance with some talkers. So I was <laughs> dancing. Oh, dancing. man, I don't even want to tell y'all how many times I tried to do that dance. <laughs> If Angel was mic'd up, you would have heard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I really was. I had the nerve to bite my bottom lip. I was like, mm, 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 uh, yeah. I tried it with Jason Derulo on his TikTok. I said, Kevin, put it down and delete it. And you know it got to be bad for me to be like, there's no humor in this. <laughs> this is, it's just this bad. Is, that's a hard thing. I don't know how to be a little woody. Sean don't let shoot it off. You don't look bad. Sean don't, I, I, I'm not right. The only people worse than me is them group of eight white girls who, as as whose face look like they were killing it. She bit the lip. I said, I'll I bite that your shit. lip if you're going to do it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't look bad, Kevin. Uh, no, nah, I've been practicing. We I should have just did it during the tour. Like show them. Show them don't. They shoot it don't. Looking dumb. <laughs> Jason Derulo said, uh, uh, and the less twins. Yes. Oh, yeah. They, uh, I've been wanting to dance. Oh, Jason Der- is Jason Derulo talented or, or we don't like him? It's a little bit of both. He's talented, though. I love his. I be. I'm a Jason Derulo. I think what do we he call just smiles Derulons? too big, yeah. and that's what makes people feel like he's. He cheesy. also has big muscles. You should be dancing good when your arms are big. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Cable. Yeah, Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> you like big groove. Uh, what would you do? You know I don't be remembering. Week I know to I week. had to look at my calendar to find out. What I, I literally I almost looked at my calendar. I remember the winery. I ain't did nothing but planning stuff out. I went to the winery, left early for a get up out of there, went home, wrote down some stuff, and read a bunch of stuff. That man said, wrote down some stuff. Yeah, there you go. And read a bunch of stuff. Okay, we're going to let it Gearing be. Gearing up to taste it with Tank. Yeah, you coming back. Okay, got it. Anything else you want to nah, add? No, I ain't got nothing. All right, uh, we'll start with you then on uh, guilty pleasure confessions. D- did you indulge in anything? Because it sounded like no. What was you reading on? I was all research stuff. It's boring. Oh. I do have a guilty pres- oh, pleasure. Damn, it? Realized it last night as I was working out. I be listening to Cardi B when I'm working out. She's great. <laughs> She's great. Do you have a song that you the truly enjoy? I can't, name, I can't name a single song other than. I recognize all the songs you were listening to. Like, I was like, yo, oh, you can hear the bass you know, line. Yes. I didn't go to it. It just started playing. I was like, I, I ain't going to change it. This yellow nigga like this. <laughs> I said, Hold Cardi that Party songs be going in when you working out. Mm-hmm. That's all you need. I don't want to hear no Tupac when I'm working out. Nah, let's well, have I a seat. It. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> That's a, a little Not slow. until after I work out. Do, so do you have a favorite or no? What song? Yes, oh, no, nah, I gonna can't. It's going to be Bodak Yellow. Oh, okay. It's his favorite. No, nah, that's what got me. I was just like, oh, this is entertaining. Got it. So that's what made when the next time a song came on and I wasn't expecting it, I was like, let me see what she talking about. Got it. So and that's, that's the one that pulled me in. I'm like. Party. This is workout music. I could do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm with you. I I'm love it. You. Angel, you got a, a a guilty a guilty pleasure. Why am I acting like I didn't know this was coming? Nobody. I, like, I, I would have been shocked too. What? I don't, what? What's my guilty about pleasure? About me listening to Cardi B. <laughs> I would be shocked too. Right now, it feels like my guilty pleasure is being over committees for stuff. Mm. I am over 50 billion committees right now in different organizations. And I'm just like, and I've told them all, if y'all don't help me, I'll let all this burn to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and luckily they, they believe me. And so people are, you know, pulling their weight. But I also am like, why are you doing this much right now? But what I notice is that the more, and Marcus hates this, but the more I put on my schedule, the more efficient I become with my time. Mm. If I leave too many, too many gaps in my day, I become the laziest 
in the least uh like hitting deadlines the way I know I can. Where if it's like you got five deadlines in one day, all of them will be hit. If I have one, I'll be like, can I have one more day? Mm-hmm. Really? Ada uh-huh. just loves being busy. It's not that I love being busy. I it operate is. at my highest self, I think, sometimes. Like, I cooked last Capitalism. night. Capitalism. Which I love. No. I cooked, <laughs> <laughs> I cooked last night. What'd you make? HelloFresh? Hell yeah, even though that's our last, that's our last box. I was like... I need food that I already know what it is. I don't want to have to. Man, them boys need spaghetti. You cook a trough of it on I'm Monday. I'm telling you, black people and in Italian that all have, week. I, I would love to. That, it's not the truth, though. Who? Spaghetti don't last the way spaghetti used to last. It surely don't. It You're don't correct. last the way it used to last. No, I I'm going to meet some Italian people it. and see who ate the most spaghetti. Us or them. Of who of what? Black folks and Italians. I want we them. have because they got they know other Italian dishes. <laughs> <laughs> we <true>. know spaghetti. <laughs> We're also not somebody was here. You might get some the lasagna. They, they made it like when I when I have only a couple times when I'm like, oh, I make spaghetti. I'm gonna make it really good and like make the sauce and do the things. It's very like a gourmet meal. Oh yeah, we not. Oh, my we, mom wasn't doing all. Ain't nobody no. doing it. They made the sauce already. It come in the top. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> top. we There's make it as made. a poor meal. Yeah, yeah. this lady. She was poor. She was a tenant in one of the buildings I used to be over. And she had some noodles, just this, just the noodles from the you spaghetti. Talked about that so much. Nothing else. She was from Cape Cod. Mm. She was. She had a big bowl and dish it out here. Try this. Try this. Them noodles tasted so damn good. Because yeah. I'm home, looking. You gotta season the noodles, babe. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking. Do. I'm like, like, who the I hell just wants some different. random ass noodles? <laughs> I was eating them noodles. I was like, what in the, the hell? Italian people don't care about the sauce as they much don't. as we do. We went over to Italy. We was like, where the sauce at? Yeah. You Americans, you always want the sauce. I know, but that's our problem. <laughs> I be sometimes real Americanized when I go to places because I'm like are? a little bit more sauce. Like I know it's the noodles al dente. Cook mine a little bit longer because I like them soft. Yes. And then add more sauce. Yeah, be And soft. add the cheese. If you yeah. can't cut them with a plastic fork, then why are you here? Yeah, I don't. I be real the they be trying to give you that paper thin pizza. Mm-mm. Oh, give Mm-mm. no! I don't want pizza Mm-mm. on a chip. I don't. I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> I heard about that. I'm like, we clearly did pizza better. Yeah, I, there's a I'm lot sorry, of things. Italians. There are a lot of things Americanized it, it American might people be, yeah. touch, and we like. It guns, might be wrong. It might be wrong, but it's better. Correct. There's a couple of things we did. We like. It's the reason we're the overweight country because sugar, butter, salt. It does make stuff better. Yeah, 100. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Some what? of the stuff be better. Uh, Angel, is it me? It's you. Oh, what? Who are you talking? Oh, the guy must be there. I'm away for you. Is he at the house? Yes. Okay. Uh, what did I indulge in? I indulged in completing the Physical 100 on Netflix. Boy. Which is a freaking great show. On That's Netflix. your guilty pleasure? Yes. Because oh I really should have been doing something else, I'm sure. Uh, the episodes was long. And the episodes were it. like an hour and a half. I couldn't take it. I, I understand. I to watch TV like that. I wish I did. No, well, the thing you about did. it well, is yeah. no, we, we actually don't either. But <laughs> I we... Make, t- but, make it enough. <laughs> yes, correct. Especially on the weekends, I actually am trying to be less productive. Uh, like, I'll answer a few emails, but I actually want to uh, work on... Like not. Uh-huh. Yes. I actually want to that when we did um, after we took our photos and we went to lunch, like there's so many other things we could have been doing. And it was nice to just like, no, but let's instead do this because yes. there's like there's so many things on the to do list. It's never ending. So sometimes you just I just make a decision sometimes like what I'm actually going to do now is yes. watch the physical 100. So we finished it. It did take us a while to finish it because the episodes are long. Um, and that show could stand to be edited by like somebody else because they do a lot of like triple shots and force like it becomes uh-huh. unnecessary and very redundant however it's so good i'd be like y'all is strong it's so good it's I such a good time dead. my <laughs> meat my meat would be falling off the bones a lot of them people's like bur- burly breaking five feet too they are and but, that's the thing about the physical 100 the big people never win oh yeah it's always the medium weight. size yeah. the strong people cannot do something yeah strong people cannot do the fast stuff you be seeing them, no endurance. you be seeing them dudes do like the monster 300 push-ups and all these uh, pull-ups and doing all these things that they're doing pull-ups and go side to side. You don't see nobody over 5'5 five, five doing it. Your dog on right, Mark. They had a, um, a squat challenge, and it was the last three or four people. Three. Three people, and the tallest dude got out. 
Cause squats oh, are hard for some people. There's a lot going, longer to travel. Yeah, that's what he said. When I was in, they did a hundred squats though. Oh, I believe with weight with with, yeah. with, uh, with rocks. I wonder how much weight. But uh, I don't know with rocks. <laughs> weight. That's all it is. It was weight. It but was yeah, a lot good. of people like I work out with these uh, short dudes at the gym. We would do, be doing squats. They were like, nah, ass to grass, ass to grass. You know how much more work that is for me? Yes, you're 6'4". Like, <laughs> they was in there in short dudes. Like, see, you got to go all the way down. I'm traveling an extra six inches than you. Bruh. And that's a lot when you working out. And yeah. that's what he, he couldn't even get up. After they completed the round and they, he, they you know, go back to do it, his body was like, we're done here. Are you all natural markers or you do steroids? Oh, my goodness. So I have an account that I forgot about. And there is one thing that gets debited out of that account, and that is this membership I had to this babysitting um, website. And when I tell you, when I saw that come out of my account, I was like, Angel, why do you put rocket money over here? Did you know that nearly 75% of people with subscriptions, um, they have them and they forget about them? Like, this is one of the main reasons why I started using rocket money, because I you know, I probably thought I only had like 15 subscriptions. I'm not going to tell you how many that I really had because you know why? It's embarrassing and it's none of your business. But what is your business is that Rocket Money can help you from saving money, okay? Between streaming services, fitness apps, and delivery services. Get that stuff up out of here if you ain't using it. Save your money. You understand? Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills so you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, you have full control over your subscriptions and a clear view of your expenses. So you can see all your subscriptions in one place. And if you don't use something or want something, Rocket Money can cancel it within a few taps. The dashboard shows the monthly spending compared to last month. So you can clearly see your spending habits. Plus, you can create a custom budget. And uh, it'll help you stay on track. Rocket Money can even negotiate your bills to about 20% lower, um, or at least up to. All you have to do is submit your picture of your bill, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They even deal with customer service for you. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and have saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all the app's features. I ain't going to tell you how much they save me, but let me tell you, it's above average, huh? Because... Uh, this is black excellence right here. <laughs> Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash bald. That's rocketmoney.com slash bald. Rocketmoney.com slash bald. Steroids. We uh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Coke. Coke. Coke is what does it. <laughs> You're traveling whole foot if they five five. That's a yeah, lot. Yeah, whole foot. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I'm on the steroids before my throat. I think it's helping. That's when you need to work out. Hey, it was that was the you? grass squats is overrated. You shouldn't be doing that because yeah, it man, takes your legs completely out of the equation. But it depends. Thanos on what you're did make it. That's true. Oh, it depends on what you're working on. It's good. Yeah, it's very. But good. everybody think that's a proper squat and it's not. Thanos yeah, it just depends on what you're trying to work out. Kev, Kev, what you up? Jalapeno jelly. What is so good? I be getting this cornbread from this from Gus. Oh yeah, Kev, yeah, yeah. You yeah. smoke weed. Why? <laughs> it sounds like a weed food. Jalapeno. You never had jalapeno jelly? No, I've never heard of it. Marcus, they come with it on down at Gus's. They give you the bread and the, I mean, the butter and the jalapeno jelly. I'm I've never had Gus's. Look that at I why like. your face looks so. Because Gus is actually not that good. It's, it's not. That's what I was about to say, but I ain't want shit on his dreams. This Gus's is, is trash. Here's, here's, here's what y'all got to understand it's not trash. You need to live in LA. You need to recalibrate your expectations of other stuff. <laughs> that I agree with. I'm not expecting Texas, Kansas City, if Nashville, you name it, Nashville, Gus's, or Carolina barbecue. You can't name it Gus's and call it a smokehouse or a steakhouse and it not be that. LA to me is yes, like, it's kind of like, well, it's a kind of like, it's kind of like, it's the Taco Bell of other food stuff. Yeah, I, I, I get know. That. I, I know when I go to Texas. And the other aforementioned places, St. Louis, I'm gonna get the real barbecue. But I, I, I can't, yeah. I can't be going over there all the time. We are, should be able to make believe. We believe that the Denzel Washington is an assassin that could kill a bunch of people on a moving train with a uh, watch at 57. It, yes. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we can I was believe watching wrestling. Me and Melissa have Come now on, picked up wrestling said, again. Y'all said you said wrestling. That's how he said it. Wrestling. Wrestling. Uh, and also, thanks to social media, you, you can say? keep up with wrestling, wrestling. On, wrestling. on TikTok. Sure. <laughs> on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. You don't even have to watch the program. We When we was coming, you got to watch <laughs> it. Says you got to watch Monday Night Raw all three hours. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember it being three hours. 
Yeah, it was two hours, I think. Um, and then later they added a third hour. You didn't watch wrestling? No, I did later yeah, on. Oh, we did? Yeah. I watched uh, right before when The Rock was before he was big, big. Mm-hmm. That's about when I The beginning that. of it. My brother actually got me into it. I'm like, why are you watching this? He's, man, you don't even know. And I'd be sitting there doing homework. Like, I love it. That's mm-hmm. actually my guilty pleasure more than jalapeno jelly. Yeah, it is. Wrestling. Because Rhea Ripley got injured. And I went and asked my son, was she got injured in real wrestling oh, or the she girl? Over, she took over. She gave up. She relinquished. <laughs> she vacated the I title. I like what she did. I like whatever. She, she laid did. her belt on the she ground. Went she whipped up. <laughs> she whipped up. There's a lot of blacks in wrestling now. Mm-hmm. Jade, Storm, Jade whatever. Cargill. I was about to say it's Jade, Jade Nova. She's amazing. She is a action uh, figure. Uh, she's the yeah. PhD. Uh, yes. Yeah, she's we a did PhD a podcast student. With, uh, uh, Dr. Raquel Martin, and she's yeah. like, Jane Cargill was, is got a PhD in psychiatry. We're like the rest, the wrestling Jane mm-hmm. Cargill went up to her Wikipedia's woman's show was a a, a psychiatrist. Then in 2020, she said, "I'm finna wrestle now." She said, "I look like this. Why not?" Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that list? Yeah, me and uh, Joe played a game of of who had the best theme songs, his childhood or ours. And um, unequivocally, without it's, question, do they even have theme songs anymore? Yeah, yeah. They got like no. two. Yeah, they. I, what what has the theme song? I don't even know that he really. He Sponge was Rob? like, I don't really know. SpongeBob. Oh, show's Park. coming on now. Yeah. Hmm? You remember the Predator went Backyard off like a sitcom. Mm-hmm. Wait, how did Backyard again? <laughs> Backyard Friends. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's a black woman who created Backyard again. She did. She went on to be with him a little while ago. They um. We ended up late before I dropped him off. Oh, okay. Anyway, we ended up singing uh, the Mickey Mouse theme song. That's just a good time. That's just a good That's what I told him. I said, sing it for me one time, Joe. Go do it. He was like, girl, I'm not doing that. You don't do nothing you ask him to do. I know. I have a little song that I sing to. Kylan, 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 Kylan. Oh, yeah. They probably, they had a couple. Kylan, ni hao, Kylan. Oh, yeah. But I feel like our kids aged out of that, but I do remember the era. Um, okay, here we go. Questions 40 years of hugs and hindsight. Let me find a couple. Okay, how would you? Mm-hmm, let me just, no, I don't want to ask that one. How do you grow together? Mm. Angel, you want to start with you? Because I think I did, Kev. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, how do you grow, or anyone who may have an answer, how do you grow together? As a couple? As a couple. Um, oh, that has so many layers. Let's just start with the easiest layer, in my opinion. Go for it. Is that the goal, if we just talk about growth, I'm not so much interested in us having to, like, grow this way together, even though, like, I think about that as far as in like intimacy and and being open with each other and transparent. While those are all good things, I think the thing that I am more in more invested in is us trying to become better versions of ourselves, mm-hmm. which I feel like is more of a priority for me. Um, and like I just want for him to be feeling as though he's getting the opportunity to move in the best direction for Marcus. And I pray if the Creek don't rise, that those things that we both want to become the better versions of ourselves does not pull us apart. Mm. Um, Because I think if I were to put the other thing as the priority of us growing together in the same direction as priority, one of us might be, um, compromising in a way that wasn't for the benefit necessarily for ourselves and more so for the benefit of the partner. If yeah. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But luckily, praise God, praise be to God, us wanting to be the better versions of ourselves has only made it easier, easier for us to grow together. It's only made it easier for us to be more intimate, to feel comfortable being very transparent in conversations, um, to feel safe being around each other in those vulnerable spaces. So, that's how I would answer. Right? Such a great answer. Hold on, if the creek don't rise, Lord willing, and the creek, the creek don't, don't rise. rise. You ain't never heard that. You from Kentucky? You ain't heard people speak like that. For yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. Lord willing, the creek don't rise. Lord willing, the creek don't rise. You don't believe Fat Me Greasy to try it? Oh my God, that was in a book that I'm actually I should have made that my guilty pleasure. I've been well, reading this want, book for the book club for next month. Smut. Uh, it's romancy. It's Golly. not. I wouldn't call it smut. 
Oh, smut loving book club blues. What be the difference? Just the description? How descriptive it is? No, because there was definitely some um, some yeah, smutty come chapters. Come Y'all be in them come, smut. Come the he filled me with his love. Oh, I feel for throb of his manhood. No, no, y'all are poetry. It. <laughs> What'd it be? It be more graphic than that. What? You talking about smut? Oh, oh. yeah. But it be in, talking about thrust and swollen and but, my no, waterfall but you have to like, drenched his scrotum. You almost have to merge the world because it's, it's very <laughs> like. filled me with his dick. It's exactly that. That's exactly what I was. Yes. Oh, like, literally, okay. it's exactly that. Okay. Then, Oh, I'm sorry. How he did we get busted all, all up in my I said, <laughs> The new book that I'm reading for the book club for next month is um, Before I Let Go. I'm going to tell you the premise. Is it Colleen Hoover? Uh, Kennedy uh, Ryan. It's a black woman, though. So this is the premise. Okay. The premise is that this couple got divorced. She went through a really hard time. Sorry if you're on the book club, but you're going to hear about it. They were together for a really long time. And then she got pregnant. She lost the baby. She had like a really hard time getting over it. So they get divorced. Okay. So you enter the scene where they're like two years removed from the divorce. The uh, oldest son, youngest son, he ends up uh, being really smart and need yeah. to go to therapy, whatever have you, because also like some other people had died. So they do that. Then he, the husband, goes to therapy. They own this restaurant together. He starts dating. Then all of a sudden, they have an opportunity to find this new restaurant in this other state. They end up going together. Mm. And then... Oh, oh! Yes, but it was like, but don't say he nothing. Put his it's gonna be, in my it's gonna be, a, it's a, it's a one time thing. It should never happen again. Mm. But now they're trying to pretend like, oh, it didn't happen, but like actually it did happen. <laughs> so then he had broke up with the girlfriend, and so they were in. It was like New Year's or whatever, and they was like saying Happy New Year's or whatever. And then the girl walked in, and that's where I ended when I was walking in. Do you when you be listening to it and like the um. Like when that happened, that scene you just talked about happened, were you like, <gasps> yes. you be having that reaction yes. in real life? Like, yes. oh, girl, I don't know. I'd be like, oh, not Vashon just walked in. <laughs> not or whatever her name is. It's not Vashon. It's like, Bashan. it's something like that, though. I'd be like, oh, Listen okay. to that smudge. Ooh, flicking that saying? bean. I know y'all flick that bean. What's going to happen? You said flicking that bean. Yeah, it's very good. And it's a two parter. So in June, we're going to continue it on because it's very good. A so two part far. book? Yeah. It's a, More it's a, pain it's a on the way after these messages. Yeah. It was I just finished what? the the scene or the chapter where they finally like it was a lot of tension building up. And mm-hmm. so the chapter where they finally do it, you're just like, finally. But mm-hmm. then it's like they also it was just a lot. Anyways, uh, such ahead. a wonderful delivery, man. He was listening to us. Really? Yes. In real I heard time? the conversation at the car. Oh. Shout out to you, man. Wait, Listen man. to us talk about smut. Oh, it's because I didn't hang up. Oh, you oh. were still on the phone with him? Oh. I don't know. Maybe that's what it was. I was like, why do I hear him talking about smut? And then I heard Kevin laughing at Melissa. So I was like. Oh, yeah. We were probably still on the phone. Oh, ride. okay. No, that man barely spoke English. That wasn't. He wasn't. That don't mean nothing. We got him in here. We got everybody, everybody in here. This penis inside of you. It's very good. I'm, I'm, I'm audio. Y'all need to read the to Bible it. together since y'all want to be reading. We do. Uh, um, uh, Catherine talking? does a devotional as well. Uh-huh. Don't I like how Melissa Song trying to Solomon. Solomon. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, don't do that. Nobody. I don't know why we got that. Make uh, sure that's our food. You brought that in, Marcus. Because I should have had Angel a milkshake. Angel T. Oh, maybe that's what they you didn't have, a milkshake? the milkshake, so they had this. Yes, I did. Shake. That is not yeah. a replacement for milkshake. It sure as hell isn't. We don't have milkshakes. Take this can of also, soda. And milkshakes are far more expensive than a can of soda. Way more. Okay, uh, Okay. so Kev, what's your answer? What was the question again? I forgot. Uh, how do you grow together? He could have said <gasps> What? Takoya, she said, let's wait till you find out what Deja, she's the daughter, know her, and that's why she's mad at the mom, because the, the girl, don't say no more. Don't, I'm not there yet. Just, I still got like two hours left. <laughs> okay, go, Kev. Uh, <clears throat> how do you make sure you don't grow apart? No, how do you grow together? <clears throat> I think you need to do a couple of things. I think you need to allow your spouse the freedom to explore things of that or their interest. Mm -hmm. And you should show interest in those things. Mm -hmm. And then I think you should make sure to spend time. um, You need to make sure to create time or repurpose time to be spent together. Um. And then I think you also need to show interest in things together. Yes. 
So it's like one of the benefits of Melissa and I's parenting approach, I think also applies well to relationships. I'm, I'm going to be interested in what you're interested in. Mm -hmm. Right. We got into wrestling because Zay Zay's into wrestling. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, I mean, uh, Josiah's into soccer. We got into soccer. Josiah's also into anime. We watch the same shows he watches. It gives you an easy thing to talk about mm -hmm. him with. I'm not going to read the smut Melissa's reading with her friends, the book of blues. And I don't know why I can't say booze. Yeah, no, it's so funny. I, I, that L going to go in both ways. But I will watch some shows that she's interested in. We done ran through every Netflix show about selling property in the neighborhoods. <laughs> They can't make enough for us. Selling Tampa, selling OC, Beverly Hills buying, <laughs> whatever. They have. Condos in Kansas, whatever y'all have. If you have a luxury buying thing, I'm gonna be in there and I'm gonna I'm gonna be watching with Melissa, or we're gonna find the Physical 100. We've been watching the Gerard Carmichael show together, which is more of oh, just a. I like that. We'll save that for the actually. Bonus. That's a guilty pleasure too. Yeah, because the way that I don't okay. want to watch this, yeah. but cannot look away. So I think. It's a combination of those both. I think, um, I do think there's a healthy amount of your own time that you should have, that you should offer each other, but you'd also, you should spend time that's non-sexual or designed to lead to sexual stuff just on the strength. You need good time together on the strength. Yeah. That, that would be my answer. Very good. Tank? Is that turkey hot dog? No, these are all vegan. Vegan? Everything's vegan. It's so good. It's so good. Um, how do you grow together? Is that how do you grow together? Uh, These are all questions posed by the audience. I would say a little bit. They both took a little bit of my answers. The mm -hmm. ones I heard. Um, I was going to say uh, be willing to um, learn from your partner. Mm -hmm. uh, their hobbies, things that they're into, things that they're naturally good at. Mm -hmm. You can also learn from that. Learn, you know, we have our strengths and weaknesses. Um, there's two dogs in there. I didn't know whose was whose because it's two different one kind. Um, I would say that, like Angel, um, like right now, the I stepped into a lane that she had already been doing for you know years. So that's me learning. Um, she's been able to learn from me, even stepping in new to this, learn from me just because we do things different. There's you kind of once you've been doing something for a while, you kind of follow. I don't want to say, yeah, you kind of follow the path that a lot of other people are following me stepping mm -hmm. into a new. No, I'm going to do it this way. <clears throat> and she's been able to learn from that. It's like, oh, it's not like a cookie cutter thing to where you right. can do things different. Um, and it's just an example of how, you know, we've grown just me stepping into the world that she's in. But even, you know, outside of that is, again, all, everybody has a strength and a weakness, strengths and weaknesses. And is being willing to learn from your par partner. You know, uh, there's a, a common thing. I don't know why even angels admitted to it. It's, it's like women are willing to listen to other people outside of their husband on a, on like stuff like I advice. It's a people thing. It's a people thing. Yeah, you've done it too to me. Okay, I know it's been a, a common thing. I've noticed husband saying this is like. I can say, oh, you know, you should probably do this, do this, oh, whatever. Then they hear it somewhere else. It's like, you know what? Let me try this. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just like, <laughs> I know a lot of times that stuff is like small and, you know, don't really, it's not really significant. But being willing to listen to your partner um, and that, you know, you gain trust when you do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You gain trust in each other and, oh, that person trusts me or I can trust that person. That's good. Very good. Can I have one of those fries? Mm -hmm. I knew he was going to ask that. Um, cheese sauce? How it's much vegan. time do we? How much time we, longer we got? Um, we are. I got three. At oh great! Okay, so I'll just close out. Okay, great. Did you um, answer? No, I'm about to right now. Okay. I was debating on if I was going to do a secondary question, but I will not. Um, okay, so my answer: How do you grow together? I think I most certainly, definitely agree with everybody's uh, answer thus far. And if I was to add anything to the conversation, it would be um, ensuring that um, as you are like 
evolving and discovering new parts of yourself that you ensure to bring your partner in on that journey. That's good, Melissa. Um, good because I think that's what happens when people look up and they're like, oh, we grew apart because you, you know, I'm 40 years old. We've been together since we were uh, 16. So I'm literally not the same person. I think about things differently. Literally, we were in uh, uh, therapy last night and I've like literally told a story countless times on this podcast if you've listened to me if for any period of time you've heard me tell um specific stories from my from my childhood or just kind of who I am as a person 3,000 times and last night I had like a new revelation about Mm -hmm. it that was just almost shocking to me to be honest that like as many times as I said this in Uh this many ways like it was that it was coming to me it was a rhema word is what it was when it becomes life when it becomes new um Korea um but because of that like thankfully Kev was there so I didn't have to like regurgitate that but the way it landed on me could affect me moving forward and how I do things moving forward and if Kev isn't brought in on that journey you look up and you're like, we're different people. Mm-hmm. We didn't like you didn't grow together. Instead, you grew apart. Right. So it's just as you are evolving, changing, and like discovering yourself and new parts of yourself that you ensure you are always bringing your partner in on that journey would be Love my it. answer. Love it for you. All right, very good. <laughs> Anything else? No, ma'am. Thank you again, Melissa, for producing such an amazing episode. Very good. We'll be Bye. here for another, you know, six weeks. Enjoy the ride. Actually, you can leave it's more Kevin. like two months. You can get Kevin off. All right, y'all. Bye. That hurt my feelings. No. All right, well, you hurt their feelings. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know which is which. <laughs>